Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. Y'all, it is soup season. We're going to go over some nice soup that can be vegan, vegetarian, or protein-based friendly, y'all. I mean, it is harvest season. It's fall. It's autumn. So why not go over that soup? Mm-hmm. Now, we're going to cut this pork tenderloin that we let marinate and sit in the refrigerator wrapped up tight for about a day or two. Mm-hmm. We slice it. And then we're going to cut it into portions, y'all. What are we looking for? We're looking for a dice. I have learned in the many years I've worked in food and beverage that you truly want everything to fit on one spoon. That is what that dice looks like, y'all. And we're going to get the mirepoix in the butter together. That butter was already going, y'all. I mean, it was in the soup pot going. So I dropped that mirepoix in that thing mm -hmm, with that veggie base, which is a great flavor enhancer, y'all. We're going to go ahead and drop that pork in there, too, because we want that pork to get a little bit of that saute flavor into it, y'all. We want that in there. We want it to be right. Mm -hmm. Next, we drop our flavor agents in there. Whatever flavors and spices you want to put up in there, make sure you do it right. Make sure you do it heavy. Now, if you want to know which ones I used, drop a comment. And I'll let you know. We dropping cornstarch in that thing too now, y'all. We got to get that in there because we are looking for something. If you know what I'm looking for, drop a comment. Tell me what I'm looking for, y'all. Oh, there we go. We're going to put some water in there because this right here is what I'm looking for. Not a root. I call it a baby root, y'all. It's almost like a sauce or gravy consistency. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to put water in there as it starts to boil. We keep adding that water in there. You know, you don't have to do that phase, y'all. Y'all can just drop the water in there after you get that little root going and make your soup. Make sure you got other side products ready, y'all. Your other veggies or whatever else you want to put up in your soup, y'all. There we go. We just get them dropped in there. Y'all, we have Brussels in there. Extra carrots in there, onions in there, threw some bell peppers or something else in there, whatever else we got in there, too, as well. If I would have had some squash, I would have thrown that in there, but I ain't had no squash, y'all. Waste not, won't not. But I had these potatoes with this dice right here, so I let that cook up a little bit, and I dropped my potatoes in there, and this is the final product, y'all. That poke looked like chicken to me, y'all. I mean, that poke, woo! Look like chicken right there. Look at them veggies, y'all. Think about whatever veggies you love throwing it up in there. Now, this is what my client wanted. So I had to make it in a specific fashion for my client. But y'all know what to do. Put your little twist on it and make it yours, y'all. If I miss something or something y'all want to see, let me know so I can put it on the playlist. Y'all, thank you for watching. Now, be sure to like and comment and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next side.